matron take them away. Oh. Well, bar bloody humbug. Ah, <sighs> season of goodwill and all that. And it's non-farm payroll, which I said I wasn't going to trade. But the guys in the Discord are going, are you going to have a go? Are you going to trade it? Shall we have a look at it? Will you do it? And stupidly, I made a coffee, because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. So I had a bit of a think about it and thought, yeah, so I'll put this camera up. Right, here we go. Right, I'm knackered this week. I haven't slept at all. And I'll tell you for why. Because my phone is pinging and panging like there's no tomorrow. Bam, 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 show me this, show me that. And I always feel compelled to do it. And the wife's kicking off because I have a tendency to get up at midnight and sort of try and sort things out. And now I'm on Friday, I'm goosed. And not only am I goosed, I'm going to do this. Who's a silly boy then? Well, let's find out. What are we doing? Right, non-farm payroll. One of the most dangerous moves of the month. Now, I've got my levels in place, and you can kind of see there's some big gaps to the upper side, okay? Um, and I'm going to get rid of these blue lines, because they don't really hold a lot of water at this moment in time. In fact, nothing holds a lot of water at this moment in time. Just the candle, all right? This is what I'm paying attention to. Now... The overall trend of cable is up. Let me just highlight something for you. Do, 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 do. Uh, or at least I will do when I find it. Right, here we go. There we go. There we are. The old pinging and panging getting ready for non-farm. I put in biases for these guys every day. Now... I was done with cable, and it's saying gold is a risky sell, meaning it could go either way. It's not good. But earlier on when I was trading, it was a strong buy. You know, so is that premise still there? Well, we're about to find out. Right. Just so you can kind of see, that's what I pulled out of it this morning. I did do a video on it earlier on. Now, I don't have to go mad today for a very simple reason. Well, the, the reason is just what you've just seen. I did quite well off the charts yesterday. And I've done quite well this week. Why? Because I'm patient. I don't take a risk. And maybe it's today I'm going to break that rule because non-farm is a risk. But... If I can get 10 pips out of it, just load in a fiver or something like that. Not a lot of money. And we'll see if we can show you something. So we've got four minutes left to go. Um, you should be able to see down on the bottom the candle. There it is there, 1325 candle. And it is today, the 2nd of the 12th. But... It's an odd day because if you saw on that strength thing that I'll, I'll just pull it up I'll, I'll highlight it short a bit bigger what just while we've got a minute the US is incredibly weak really weak but it has been gaining ground over the pound the question here is is that just a little bit of a pullback before it starts pushing forward because the, the pound is still reasonably strong against it I don't know because this sort of little pullback that we see might be highlighted in it and you can kind of see it here across where it's pushed up and now it's consolidating moving down but it's not really aggressively pushing down so is it going to slam up slam back and then go forward I don't know you know is it gonna scream all the way down and then stay there for the rest of the day again I don't know that's why non-farm payroll is dangerous so what you do is you trade the chart as you see it now we've got two minutes left to go 
the first five minutes of short hand and it'll decide whether it's just going to consolidate and move to the downside because this is one of those events that can turn a market or it's going to give some signs for a continuation to the upside and i'll not know that till the five minutes is closed so to try and trade it while it's actually in the pulse is quite dangerous so what we're going to do is i'm going to wait i'm going to shut up now because we've got a few seconds left to go but i'll trade it out in front of you okay and hopefully we'll get some money out of it Okay, guys. Store. So that's just mine. What? How much is mine? You mean how much is yours? Fuck all. What do you mean? Is that your car? It is actually. Oh, fuck me! It's got your name on it. Sorry. <laughs> it's that time of the year where she goes mental. How much of that is mine? What a cow! I'll tell you what's yours. I've just made you one. Well, I'm going to do it with another one. Okay, okay. Good girl. Right, sorry about that little interlude by the little elf here. Uh, she's getting all excited. Well, she's not actually. She's getting annoyed because I said she had to sort of put one of them on. So she doesn't like me Christmas songs anymore. Right. But did you like my Christmas chart? What was the top of the pops today? Well, believe it or not, it's not as bad as it looks. Because I carve in one thing and another, sort of half an hour, uh, 90 quid or, or something like that. I can live with that. Consider I only ever want about 50 quid at the pop. Every time I go to the market, I'm looking for about 50 quid. If I get 100 brilliant. And then do it twice, 200 quid a day. Simple stuff. But what can I do with this? I can re-enter the market if I so choose, because that can just be a pullback on the way back up. Why? Well, look at it. Let's just draw a fib to it. There's your move. Whoops. There's your move. Came up, stalled on the 38, pushed back to the 23, stalled, and then can be easily working its way back to 50. 
or the question you got to ask yourself all the time when you're trading, all the time, is it worth me going to market? Well, if you're being paid, no, it's not worth you going to market. Because what you're going to do at that point is put yourself back in front of the freight train. If you're being paid, walk away. That's the best advice I can give you. And certainly on a, a day like today. Because if, what if that little pullback is not a pullback at all? What if that is the continuation of that pullback? Because if the market is turning, there's the pullback, and then it can continue to slam the other way. Get in, get out, get paid. That's our job. Anyway, as it happens, my belief to this is to the upside. It still is, because it rarely turns the market, but it'll push down to go back up. And I kind of think that's possibly what's happening here. Um, but do I need to play it out? No, I'll do it on Monday after I've had a nice relaxing time this weekend or not so relaxing time. Why not relaxing? Because I've got to spend it with you. It's a very nice thing to say. Well, it's a lovely thing to say apart from when you've got this kicking off. Sorry, it's a good one to help. I've got another one to help. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So my relaxing weekend is how to get bankrupted in a very quick systematic manner and how was that get in the car drive to the shopping center and cry my eyes out what do you got to say for yourself it's supposed to be a big tough man well are you going to be a sexy woman in victoria's secret get in the christmas spirit are you well you better be getting into some sort of spirit well with her it'll be whiskey Right, drink she doesn't actually, but she drinks wine by the gallon, which makes it even worse. Um, she goes mental on this stuff. Anyway, that was my non-farm payroll. This is Winky, rudely interrupting. And actually, if I flick that chart back, it is pushing to the upper side, just as, as we talk. It's just caught my eye there. There we go. Pushing back. So this... And this is a good keen level for later on. But I'll repeat, I've been paid. I don't need to be a hero. You know, you want to be a hero, go to a casino. You want to be a trader, treat it as a job. A little bit of advice from Scruff. So as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.